What's up guys? Morning has been off to a little bit of a rough start. I forgot to put in the plug in the boat when we first launched it, so there was water spraying out of it and I had to basically put most of my upper body under the water to reach down and put in the plug so we didn't sink. But today we have a special little video for you. We're gonna try to do a catch, clean, and cook video for lake trout. So we've been bass fishing out here on Green Lake a lot and have been catching a lot of lake trout. So. Hopefully we can get one today and we'll show you guys how to clean it up and cook it. Stay tuned. Alright guys, all we're using is a blade bait right here. This is a Demiki Volt and basically all you need is something that shines. Um, anything white, gold, metallic, something like that that makes a rattling noise under the water and a, and a good vibration. The water's a little dirtier so we're going to get these lake trout attention by uh, jigging this thing up off the bottom and then they'll crush it. So. I'll show you how we're doing it coming up. All right, guys, so water temp is about 61 degrees, and I'm fishing a pretty steep break right now. I'm sitting the boat in about eight feet of water, and it drops pretty quickly to about 30, and then continues on to about 50, and it gets really deep. So um, it's the morning right now, and the lake trout like to come up and feed, I think. So I'm going to cast out into the deep and bring it back up onto this flat. What I'm going to do is just throw it out and then rip it off the bottom and they like to crush it. It's pretty much just a reaction bite, so I'll show you what we're going to do here. So as I'm working this thing, when you pull it up you can feel it vibrate. So that means you know it's good. If, it, if when you pull it up it's not vibrating, that means your hooks are either tangled or messed up in the line. So if that happens, you either got to give it a big rip to try to get them untangled. Oh, there's one. Oh, he got off. Dang it. You either got to give it a big rip to get them untangled, or you got to reel it in and then fix your hooks because if it's not um, vibrating and not giving good action, then the fish, you're not going to, you're most likely not going to catch any fish on it. There's one. Fish on. There we go, baby. On the board. Oh, big lake trout. Get it in that. Oh, got him. Oh, it came off in the net. Holy crap. Oh, that was kind of a disaster. That was kind of a disaster. But we got him. Come here, buddy. All right, there we go. There we go, guys. We're on the board. A nice lake trout. Size limit is 17 inches, you can keep two. So we're just gonna keep this one and uh, finish up the video. There we go, baby. There we go, we got one good lake trout. So here's really all that I'm doing. I'm throwing it out, and it's the deeper water's out there, so throwing it out, let it sink all the way to the bottom. All right, it just hit bottom. Once it hits bottom, I'm literally just ripping it up off the bottom. It's called the yo-yo. It's called yo-yoing. Pulling it up off the bottom and then letting it flutter back down. Pulling it up and then let it flutter back down. Usually you'll feel them pop it on the way down or like that one, they're just kind of on. So when I went to pull up for the next jig, it was just, the fish was just on there. There's another one. There we go, that one crushed it. Oh, another nice one. Oh yeah, there we go. Here, come here, buddy. Okay, buddy, chill out. Another nice lake trout. All right, you can keep two that are 17 inches, so. Okay, just measured this guy, 
he's about, oh, this guy's about 19, so we're gonna keep him. So we're gonna have two and we're limited out. All right, guys, we were only fishing for about 15 minutes and we're limited out, so we got our two lake trout that we need to clean and cook. So we're done fishing, but uh, I'm gonna keep fishing for some bass here for the rest of the day and I'll be back later, so stay tuned. And next we'll get into how to clean these suckers. We are in my garage, just put the boat away, wiped it off a little bit, and here are the trout. Here we go, we have our fish cleaning station, which is a thing of plywood on the back of the four-wheeler. What we need is a bucket of cold water, fly knife, the trout, and the master fly master himself. All right, so you're gonna do the first one? Yeah, I'll do the small one. You can do the big one. Okay, so the first thing you do is make, make a cut right behind the gills, okay, on an angle. Okay. Should have bled the fish out, which would make this job a lot cleaner, but we didn't bleed them out, so there, there's going to be a lot of blood. But Make that diagonal cut, and then we make a cut right down the back, okay, on the side of the dorsal fin. And once you get past the dorsal fin, you can cut back, put your knife all the way through. And then slide it right along. You'll feel the lat, the like the the ladder line bones, or the spine bones, if you will. And then just finish your cut. Okay, that's the line of bones that you cut along right there. Okay, and then you come back to the front of the fish, and basically just slide your knife, and you're gonna come to a line of bones there, and you gotta cut through that first line of bones. Okay, and then you just keep sliding your knife along, peel the skin back, and you're cutting around the rib bones essentially. Just like that. You can see those rib bones in there. And just peel the skin off, and then run your knife down like that. And there you go. You got a beautiful fillet of trout. You can throw it on the grill with the skin on it like this, or you could fillet the skin off. We're gonna leave the skin on this one, so we're gonna grill them. Then you just flip the trout over, and basically do the same thing on the other side. All right, so here we go. Got ourselves some good lake shell fillets. Uh, last thing you gotta do before they're ready to eat is take them inside and Clean them off with cold water, get all the blood off. One thing I forgot to mention that we just thought of is that they're so much easier to clean when they're dried out. Like the skin is dry because these things are so slimy and slippery. It'd be hard to hold on to if you're if they're like fresh out of the water and wet. So you just gotta get the blood off. Use your hands, you can use your hands for this. Alright, this one's clean enough. That one's pretty much ready to eat. The flays are cleaned, they're in the fridge. We're not actually gonna make them today, but we will make them probably tomorrow or something, but they'll be on the same video, so you'll get to see them right now. Welcome back, everyone. It is now time for the final step, and that is to cook the lake trout. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grill it. We're gonna use this grilling tray, and the first thing we need to do is spray it so that the flays don't stick to it. After that, we're gonna take our flays, set them on there, Okay, once we have that done, we're gonna put some chunks of butter on there. Okay, and then we're gonna use salt. We're gonna put some salt on there. We're gonna put some pepper on there. And then we're gonna use, you can, you can season it however you want. I'm gonna use some Cajun seasoning. Put a little of that on top. All right, now we're ready to put it on the grill. All right, we're putting it on the grill and we're just gonna let it cook for a little bit. 
All right, while the lake trout is cooking, we're gonna put on some asparagus. Ah, eat with it. I was gonna make some mashed potatoes. All right, then we're gonna shut it and let that keep cooking. I will mention that this is literally my first time making a lake trout, so we're pretty much just winging it. We're gonna take it off the grill when it looks like it's done when the flays turn white, right? They started like they were pink and red, so when they turn white, we're gonna take them off, right, Mom? All right, it's done now. It's been on there for about 15, 20 minutes. You just gotta cook it until it's flaky and white. So, depending on your grill or what heat you have it at, it'll take a different amount of time. There's one, and there's number two. There we have it. Final product is finished. Mashed potatoes, put a little pico de gallo on top, the asparagus. All right, we just finished the lake trout. It was really delicious. It tasted kind of just like salmon. Sometimes people say that lake trout is greasy and that it has a fishy kind of taste, but when it was grilled like that with the skin on, it didn't have any fishy taste at all. So it was actually really good. So if you guys like this video in any way, whether it be the fishing part, the cleaning part, or the cooking part, make sure to give it a like. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be making more cool videos like this. And um, if you like the hats that I'm wearing that I designed and uh, the sweatshirt I was wearing, I'll be posting pictures about it and it'll be on my Instagram. Make sure to check that out at Bass and Buckets on Instagram. But if you like them, just shoot me a, a DM on Instagram. Um, you can get them from me. I'm also working on a website that I'll have up soon where you can, you can purchase them from me. But yeah, thanks again for watching and Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Take care. Thanks again. Thank you.